Hey there, this is Josie Seiler, and I am back with part two of After the Contract, An Author's Road to Publication. Now today, I want to share with you something that surprised me. After I signed my book contract, I not only got the request for the headshot, like I had talked about in last week's video, but I also received a questionnaire. Now, at face value, a questionnaire that just, you know, I got that and I thought, oh, this is going to be great. I can fill this out and turn it in tomorrow and um, everything will be good. Well, I heard from the publisher and she said, you do not have to turn it in tomorrow. You can take your time, fill this out. It's rather extensive. So I looked at it a little more closely. And even though it was only a couple of pages long, there was a lot of information in there. And now my journey is going to be different than your journey. And depending on what uh, publisher you go with, you're going to have different requirements than I had. But I wanted to tell you about this questionnaire because I think the information in it is so important that whether your publisher asks for it or not, I think if you can collect this information ahead of time, it is going to be priceless for you. It's going to be so valuable because even if you self-publish, this is information that you are going to want to have at your fingertips. So my publisher, she wanted me to get this information for her so that she has it. And I think it's fantastic that I had to find out all this information because it's going to be really good for publicity and promotion down the road. And that's something that we all have to do, whether you are publishing it yourself or whatever publisher you go with, even if they don't recommend this, you're going to want to know it. So what was in this questionnaire? I'm not going to tell you everything, um, but I'm going to tell you some of the things that, that is in it. Um, so I had to put some things that were from the book proposal, of course. Um, a lot of that I already had, so it was just a matter of copying and pasting some of the basic proposal information. Then I also had to put my writing history. Well, some of that is in the proposal as well, um, where you've been published, what books that you've had published, um, any articles, things like that. Um, but it was also a little more extensive. What other type of writing have you done that maybe wasn't published? Or what other types of writing experiences have you had that would be useful um, for publication purposes? Maybe you attended um, a particular writer's conference where you would have the opportunity to have your book public, uh, promoted there. Or maybe you went to a writer's retreat and in the future, maybe that would be an opportunity for you to return to this retreat, but this time as a published author um, and share your own experience. So you put some of your writing history in there. That's something that is important to have laid out already. Um, and then media contacts. This was the hard one for me because I actually have been interviewed places before. Um, so, but I didn't have that contact information anymore. And so if you've ever been interviewed for print, which would be like newspapers or blog posts or, um, you know, somebody else's website, um, maybe a newspaper article, things like that. If you've been interviewed for print, if you've been on TV before um, for anything, um, if you've been on TV for something, if you've been interviewed by a local news station for something, um, if you've been on the radio before, um, in my case, I had, um, as part of my college experience, I taught English in China for a summer. And when I got back from that experience, our local radio station had me on and I got to share about it. And so that was one of the things that I was able to put on the questionnaire is that I have had this um, radio experience with my local radio station. Um, but again, I had to go back and I had to find all the information, um, the name of the radio station, their contact information, that kind of thing. So as you have opportunities to promote yourself, even before you're published, um, keep track of those things. Maybe start a folder or um, like a little journal or book or something and write in some of these important information so that when your time comes and you are published and you're ready to promote a book, you have these things already that you can look back and say, oh yeah, I spoke here. Here's the person's contact information. Maybe they would want to have me back. Um, the other thing that I found interesting was organizational affiliations. And so what would this be? Um, Maybe you were part of a sorority in college, or maybe you were part of a club um, during your undergrad or graduate studies, or 
Um, even in high school, you know, maybe you were part of like uh, FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or, you know, something like that. If you were part of an organization or affiliation, maybe you're part of your local Rotary Club, or maybe you're um, on your local chamber as an ambassador, anything like that, any organizational affiliations, maybe you're affiliated with um, your church denomination. For me, I'm a consecrated worker with the Christian Missionary Alliance. Uh, consecration is similar to ordination, but it's for women. And that's a process that I went through. And so that's a connection that I have to that organization. Um, so that's something that I put in, um, in the questionnaire. The other question um, was places or media outlets that might be interested in having you. So this is similar to the last question, places that you have appeared. Um, but instead, it broadens that out a little bit to places that might be interested in having you. So maybe this is a place that you think your book would have a really good connection with, but you don't have any um, experience with that organization yet. Maybe um, it's a particular radio program, or maybe it's a TV show that you think, oh, I would be a perfect guest for them. That's something that you can keep track of now, even as you're watching TV or listening to the radio. If you think of something um, if you're watching a program and you think, man, my book would be a great topic for them, you know, once it's finished and once it's published, write it down. And then you're going to have that contact information for down the road. Um, the other thing is local promotional opportunities. So is there somewhere locally that might want you to come and promote your book? Maybe it's a local bookstore. Maybe, um, like for me, it's a children's book. And I know that sometimes... Um, Children's book authors are out at the local farmer's market and they they have an opportunity to read their book to the kids who come to the farmer's market. So that could be a possible opportunity for me. So as you're going through just your everyday life and you see maybe you um, are going to your local bookstore and you see that there's a book signing there. Well, you can talk to them and say, hey, I'm a local author. This is something that I would be able to do once my book is published. Or maybe you don't say anything and you just write it down in your little book as a place that you could be public or you could uh, promote your book one day. Um, and then the last one I wanted to talk about was just personal sales leads. That's something that was on the questionnaire. And that one was a little harder for me to think about. It's like, what? What sales leads do I have? And that's where you have to think outside the box a little bit and think about Maybe it's different business people, you know, maybe it's different people in the writing industry. Maybe it's different people um, in an organization that is affiliated with the topic that you are writing about. Um, if you know somebody in, you know, in that world, that's a personal sales lead. So that's somebody that you specifically can go and talk to and say, hey, I wrote this book. You're part of this organization. Maybe we can partner somehow. Um, so those are some of the things that are, those are kind of the big ones in the questionnaire that, that caught me off guard. And I wanted to share that with you because <laughs> I know for me personally, my memory is not very good. I have a lot of brain fog from years of chronic illness and I just don't remember these things. And so it took me several days to rack my brain and remember all of the places that um, I have been interviewed or I have um, had a guest blog post appear or you know, those kind of things, um, they're fantastic opportunities. But if I had known that I would have to do this questionnaire one day, I would have started a list. I would have written them down and had them all ready to go. And so that's something that I wanted to share with you as you're thinking about your own road to publication and what that looks like. Start writing some of these things down and it will save you a lot of stress in the future. And it's just, it also will train your mind to be always looking for those promotional opportunities. And I think that's something, a really good skill that we can develop as writers. Um, who can we connect with and who can, and not just, this is important too. It's not just who can help me do something, but how can we partner together? So how can I help them? Like maybe the topic of my book would really impact their organization. So how can we partner together to be mutually beneficial? So as we're going through this process, it's not just about what you can do for me. It's about what I can do for you and how I can come alongside and help you as well, um, whether I get something in return or not. So that is my tip for writers is to think about a future questionnaire you might have to fill out or uh, future publication opportunities that you want to have. Um, and just start writing those things down now, guys. Just keep track. It'll help. Um, and so my other tip 
or not my tip, but my inside look for readers in this whole process. I've done the questionnaire. I've turned in a lot of things. Um, so what's happening now? What, what else is going on in the world behind the scenes? So currently my publisher is looking for potential um, book illustrators. And so some, it depends on who you publish with. Sometimes you have to provide your own illustrator. Other times the publisher is the one who will find the illustrator for your book. And in my case, my publisher is finding an illustrator. So that is something that she is currently working on as we speak. Um, she is contacting different illustrators, getting price quotes, you know, getting samples of their work, things like that. Um, so that's happening. And for me personally, this week I am doing some research for book number two. And I am hoping by the end of the month to have my first draft of book number two done so that I can start editing it and... Um, sending it off to other people so that they can take a look at it and see what they think before I turn it into my publisher. So that is what's happening behind the scenes. And this has been part two of After the Contract, an author's road to publication. I hope you found it valuable. Um, and if you have questions for the future, please let me know and I will address them in a, in a future video. Have a beautiful day, friends.